Coming up on Backyard Science, sending out the supplies with coded messages. We're camping out tonight, if we ever manage to get this tent pitched. Perfect, we're done. Now what about a way to communicate with the inside world when it's time for our midnight snack? Yay! A torch, not bad. But I think we can go one better. Come on you two, every brilliant scientist has loyal assistance. Stand by for room service. We're making the next best thing to a phone. Funny you say that because the flick of a switch is exactly how John plans on getting room service for his fellow campers. I promised you the next best thing to a telephone and here it goes. Start by dismantling the torch. We need the bulb and the battery. Attach positive and negative leads to both sections. And with a continuous current running between the battery and the bulb, we can activate the light. Easy! Now for the tricky part, making a switch. Bend the paper clip into an S shape and fasten the drawing pin. Connect the wires. And there you go. I've made a Morse code switchboard. Pretty high tech, hey? Not so high tech, actually. Morse code was developed more than 150 years ago. These funny markings make up the code alphabet, a series of dots and dashes, which are sent in short and long electrical pulses along a wire. Now we're ready to order room service. After it was invented, Morse code became a very important way of getting messages to people a long way away. By tapping on a switch, dots and dashes making up words could be transmitted along wires. How do you tell the difference between a dot and a dash? A dash lasts three times longer than a dot. The most used letters of the alphabet have fewer dots and dashes in them, so the message can be sent as quickly as possible. I think those campers are facing a challenge too if they want to get Sophie to wait on them hand and foot. We've come to connect our second Morse code board in Sophie's room. All she needs to do is to swat up on her Morse code alphabet. Now we're all set to communicate with Sophie when we need supplies from inside. Happy studying, Sophie. Right, let's see if we have the technology. And bring some chocolate. What's she doing? Why isn't she bringing us our chocolate? I've got an idea they'll keep her on the ball. This buzz will make her sit up and take notice when we need her. And more importantly, when we need chocolate. All I have to do is wire it into her room. I think they got the message. Hey, what do all those dots and dashes mean? We've got to dash. Yep, we've got to dash. Because oh. oh. we've reached the end of another backyard sign. Bye, Bye for, for now. now.